What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. And right here, what we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and give you the whole mindset of what goes on. Sometimes when you log into Madden 18 Ultimate Team and you just go right into a game, EA makes the game go your way no matter what. You just be sitting there like, yo, this finna be a breeze. And that's what's going to happen. I'm going to let you, uh, we're going to talk about it right now. But go ahead and like the video. And sometimes when you just go into a game, no matter what you do, it works. Because that's what I'm going to show you right now. And I'm just letting you guys understand. I'm going to log right in. I'm going to jump into Weekend League. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't remember what was going on. But I think I was like taking maximum amounts of L's. I don't even know what was going on, bro. But um, regardless of what's happening, yeah, I had two games left. So I was taking maximum L's. Like, it, it was like really, really bad. I was getting blown out. Bad things were happening. It was really, really wild and savage-like. So what happened was I, I took a break. I went to go drink some vodka. And then I came back. Like, all right, now I'm ready because I don't care what goes on. You see what I'm saying? And um, when you don't care what goes on, for some reason, things just go your way. And we're going to look at this game, right? And I want you guys, every time you see something wild, to just, you know, to, to just imagine that game that you got when it was just like that. Because all of us have had games like this where everything goes your way. The problem is when it doesn't go our way. And I'm one of the first guys to tell you, I'd be in here raging like a monster, bro going wild you guys watch my live streams they're right here on youtube and they're also uh available on twitch it is wild okay very very wild but that's just the way it goes sometimes man you know like you load the game up and then you come in there and it's just like you look at your opponent's name in the top right you're like yo man today just ain't gonna be your day you know what i'm saying and that's his fault because he came out thinking it was sweet like that's what he wanted to do you know what i'm saying that has nothing to do with you that he thought he could come out and everything was going to be all right. But it just wasn't his time. And his squad, yo, he got that Jarius Bird too. Don't that dude got like 93 zone, 94 zone, something like that? Yeah, bro, that's zone coverage. That dude is jumping every route. Bro, every route, you can put him in a freaking, like like a flat. That dude is playing the deep blue. Like the zones are so wild and savage in this game. But that's neither here nor there, right? Here we go. So we kicked the ball off, ready to jump right into the action. And I'm just like, listen, I don't know what happened the last game I played, but this guy's about to get the business. And now we're going to see exactly what happens. Now, just remember, guys, as far as coaching adjustment goes, after the most recent patch, it's actually rather useless. I would just leave it unless you really have something like play ball or you want to, um, you know, cover the best receiver and stuff like that. If you use it for those things, only if you do that, you know, should you actually play around with the uh, coaching adjustments. Other than that, I would just leave it alone. I'm just being totally honest. It doesn't really make any sense to do anything else. You know what I'm saying? Just just leave it the way it is. Don't bother it too much. Right here, he comes out. You know, it looks like everything's going to be good for him. But then I realized he got Cam Newton at quarterback. Once somebody has Cam Newton at quarterback, if he wants to come out and throw the ball, he's going to lose the game. If he runs read options and he runs around with Cam Newton in the backfield, it's a possibility that he might be able to win the game. You know what I'm saying? But right here, when we get the fumble, because we... Hold up. It's not a fumble. Wait a minute. Did, what? what? What just happened right there? What was that? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Now you see the way I just picked the, like I'm I'm sitting there like screaming. You know what I'm saying? I'm screaming at the TV like what just happened? But it doesn't matter cuz like I told you guys, all of the things that you just saw, it didn't really matter because look, look where he is. And at the end of the day, he still has Cam Newton at quarterback and he's still going to be throwing that same route. So guess what? Sean Taylor. Let's go. You see what I'm saying? Once this starts happening where you start getting fumbles like that, the game is pretty much over. Because remember, just the play before, he just fumbled. And then he fumbled right, yo, immediately, right after. Once that happens, guys, nothing is going to end well for your game. So I'm making sure that you're very, very understanding about that. Just, do, look, I don't know how to really explain what you do. Because what I do is this. Once I realize that EA has it out for me, I'll just come out and run the ball every play. And if I'm going to fumble, I'll fumble. But I, I've learned now, over the last two years, when I come out and fumbles start happening... The, uh, a guy throws the ball right through my eye socket and catches it and runs up a six. Once those things happen, I understand where I am. Oh, I thought it was about to be a fumble too. I understand where I am with EA Sports and I just step back. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done. Let me run the ball. Let me, let me just chew this clock out. Let me get this game over with because I already know where this is going to end. That's what I'm recommending for you guys. All right? Because this guy right here, you're going to see the thing. Look, just watch. Just watch. Watch. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know where Barry came from. I don't know what zone he was in. I have no idea what he was doing because I think I, I think I changed his zone. I think he comes out in the purple on that play and I changed it probably to something else. But 
he doesn't usually jump inside routes. He usually goes to the outside. Right there, he jumped the inside route. I, I, I don't know what I did. I don't know what was going on. But once these things, like I said, once these things start happening, it doesn't matter. Like, look, look at this. Look at that. Bruh, I just ran right through his defenders. Like, his defenders touched me, and it was like they didn't touch me. See, it, I can't really explain why it happens. All I could recommend to you guys is this. Your rage must be let out. But just make sure that you don't break your controller and you don't break your TV. You don't break your PS4, your Xbox. Just just scream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've learned that that helps. And uh, my family just stays away from me when I'm playing Madden so it works out. And I lock myself away. So when I rage scream, nobody hears it but me. Maybe my neighbors do. But my family just ignores it. Like, I'd be, ah! But, like, I'm dying. They wouldn't be able to tell if I was dying or if I'm playing Madden. Doesn't matter. I'm just letting you guys know. It's good to release it. Don't hold it in. Because it just makes your blood boil and you be sitting there like you have a fever. You be so hot. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you understand and you take those tips. Because it will definitely help you in the future. Now just, just watch. Just watch what's going on. Now he throws the ball. Okay, I'm like, all right. He throws it in the triple coverage. That's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with that. Because you know why? I know he's going to throw a pick now. I already know he's going to throw a pick. Because it, it's just something that... It's just Madden. It's just the way that the game is. Okay, so he throws it through my body again. All right, so maybe he doesn't want to throw a pick. I don't know what this guy wants to do. I, I really have no idea what this guy is doing. If you really think about it, this guy is kind of a savage. Now that I'm looking at what he's doing, it really just doesn't make sense to me what he's doing, bro. I, 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 don't, I don't fully understand what he's doing. But I, right here, I'm just labbing different blitzes. Uh, what is that guy? Oh, Turner, turn your back. What the? What is he doing? What, what is he doing? Why is this guy's back turned like that? I have no idea what that man... Yo, is this guy serious right now? Yo, smash him up. Yo, what the... Oh, bad time and drop pick, and he still picks it. Yo, see, this guy, man, he should have just turned the game off. He should, Right there, at that point, he should have just turned the game off, bro. Like, I, I don't know. I can't explain that, bro. Bad time and use the pick, but it's a pick, though. Like, it just falls right into his lap. All right, he's going to get me on that one. Um, but I think something else is going to happen that's going to be really, really wild, and he's just going to say, you know what? I just can't do this no more. And he's just going to go and do whatever he's doing. Because these games right here are almost unbearable to play. But it's so fun when it's not happening to you. Isn't it? Oh, who is that? Who dropped that ball? Who is that? Let me see his name. Gonzalez? All right, cool, cool. He's off the team. He's on the bread lines. Look, it feels so good, bro, when it's not happening to you. Like the video of you love when you're doing your opponent dirty, but you know you shouldn't be. Like, it, it's like, yo, you just, it, it's... I can't explain the feeling. Like, when I was playing this game, I'm like, yo, you know what? No, who, who, who sacked me? There's two guys in front of me. What just happened? How did he sack me with two guys in front of me? What, what is going on, bro? I don't even know what just happened right there. What? Yo, all right. Like I said, I already know I'm winning this game just based on the fact that he's fumbling all the time and that I'm just doing whatever I want. So I don't even care. I'm not raging at this point. I know what's coming. What the f Yo, did this bunts off his head? What is going on with this game? What's happening right now? What, what, yo, listen. Again, I have no clue what just happened or what's about, what's about to happen. All I can tell you is this, and it's very, very, it's very, very clear um, that this guy right here is about to get the wrath. He's about this dude right here about to get the wrath action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try some new blitzes, bro, because we don't really care about this guy's problems. What, what is he doing? What, what defense am I running? What am I doing right now? Why did he throw it to the drag? Oh, was that guy beat deep? I, I have no idea. Um, realistically, what's going on? But um, why? Why would? Why is that guy doing what he? So he just wants to run this play. It looks like it doesn't look like he cares. He just wants to run this play. I, I'm trying to analyze what he's doing because I don't. It doesn't make sense. He's doing all these audibles and everything like that, but then he's getting sacked. What is he doing? I, I have no idea what's going on, bro. But again, it's gonna go my way no matter what. I already had back-to-back -back fumbles. Um, right here, I think I'm going to do something wild on this, this safety punt that's going to make him say, you know what, it's time for me to do what's right. I, like I said, I, I don't know what, yo, bro, hold on, let me see, what what, what I do right here, hold on. Okay, he's, what? Okay, yeah, this is why he did it, yeah, this, yeah, okay, I, I, I see what's going on. Yeah, he, he had enough, alright, so that, that made him say, you know what, alright, I had enough. I had, a, he, bro, the dude just jumped out of his window, he just jumped out his window, bro, and, it, and he pulled the core by mistake and then he just plugged out his PS4. It was really, really wild, but... I want you guys to go ahead and tell me your favorite story. Don't make it too long. I just want to know what happened in your game, in the comments, that made you know that EA was on your side for the gameplay. 
Shout out to everybody that's joining, that's new. Much love to all of you. Shout out to my Aussies and everybody else all over the world. One love.